Do you have a Microsoft 365 license and need to install the Office on your Mac? You are in the right place. You know, not all Microsoft 365 licenses include the ability to install the Office apps on your desktop. If you have Microsoft 365 Business Standard, Business Premium or Business Apps, you can download and install the full suite of Office apps directly on your computer. However, if your license is Microsoft 365 Business Basic, keep in mind that you can only access Office apps online through your browser. Desktop installation isn't included. Other licenses like Microsoft 365 Personal and Family Plan also include the option to download and install the Office apps on your desktop. In this video, I will show you step by step how to download and install Office apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook and Teams on your Mac. Once installed and activated, you can use the apps offline for up to 30 days. After that, you just need to sign back in to keep them active and running in full functionality. Before proceeding to install the Office apps, I suggest checking if you have a previous installation of the apps in your device. If you do, uninstall them before going to the next step. Also, keep in mind that you can install the apps on up to five different devices. When you have a Microsoft 365 subscription, a product key is not needed. Instead, the Office apps are activated when each day or each time you sign in your computer, the computer connects to the activation and validation service at Microsoft to verify the license status and extend the product key. As long as the computer can connect to the internet at least once every 30 days, Microsoft 365 apps remain fully functional. If your computer goes offline for more than 30 days, the Office apps enter reduced functionality mode until the next time a connection can be made. Let's now jump over to the Mac and get started. We will now need to access our Microsoft 365 account. We can use the URL portal.office.com or login.microsoftonline.com. Then we enter our email address or username and then click on Next. Then we enter our password and click on Sign In. Since we have multi-factor authentication in this account, we need to authorize it from our phone. Now we are prompted if we want to reduce the number of times that we need to sign in. Since this is a test account, I'm going to click on No. Once we access our Microsoft 365 account, we will click on the Install and More button on the top right. Then we can select Install Microsoft 365 apps. At this point, we can click on Install Office. But also, we can click on View apps and devices. Let's click on here. Here, we also have the Install Office button but also we can check the devices where we have already installed the Office apps. With this license, we have installed the apps in three different computers. By the way, from here, you can also sign out any of the installation that we have done before by clicking here. Let's now install the Office apps in this computer by clicking here, Install Office. At this moment, the installation file is being downloaded from the internet. And we can check the progress here. This download process could take a little while, depending on your internet speed connection. The installation file is now downloaded, so we should click on it. Now, the installation program will guide us on the steps that we need to follow. So we need to click on Continue. This is the point where we can review the software license agreement. We can scroll down and read it, and then click on Continue. We need to accept the agreement by clicking on Agree. We now have the option to decide where we want to install the software. We are going to use the default, and we will select this, Installed for all users of this computer, and then click on Continue. We can read here that it is going to use about 13 GB of our storage. If we want to change the location, we can click here. We are going to use the default location. Then we click on Install. We need to enter the password for our computer and click on Install Software.
the installation is now taking place. It could take a little while. The installation was successful, and we can now close this window. It is asking us if we want to move the installation file to the trash, which is a good idea. I'm going to click on Move to Trash. Now, Microsoft Update is telling us that we have two updates available, and we can proceed with the updates right now. Then we click on Update. The updates are being downloaded. These downloaded could take a little while, but you can start using the Office apps already. So we can leave the update running in the background. If we go to the Finder, then we click on Applications, and we scroll down, and we have them here. Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint, Microsoft Teams, OneNote, Microsoft Word. The next step is very important. The first time that we open any of the apps, we will have to sign in. Let's open, for example, Excel. We get this note about the privacy. We can click on Done. And we can start using Excel. If, for any reason, you were not prompted to sign in, you will find this message here. View only. Activate Microsoft 365 to create and edit. Then we need to click here, Activate, and we will have to sign in. And here we have the opportunity to sign in. We enter our username and click on Next. And we enter our password and then click on Sign In. We are now signed in and we can start using Excel and also any of the Office apps. Once we have activated one of the apps, the other apps will be activated as well. So we can click here, start using Excel, and that's it. As I mentioned before, you can use the Office apps for 30 days offline. After 30 days, you may need to log in to your Microsoft account to reactivate it again. I hope you find value in this video. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you have any comment or questions, please leave it here down below. And if you want to see it again in the future or want to see more videos like this one, I invite you to hit the subscribe button. Thank you and I hope to see you next time. Remember, stay safe in the cloud and keep tech savvy.